Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the NVIDIA Shield TV console and I want to test out some PSP games. Now the PPSSPP emulator has been updated since the last time I tried this on the Shield. Well, the last time I demonstrated it. I use this Shield every single night. Before I go to bed, I'm either using Kodi, Netflix, Hulu. I'll play some games. This thing is very, very powerful for an Android console. In my opinion, it's the best Android console on the market right now, and a lot of other people will agree with me. It really is amazing. Let's get into it. We're going to be playing a few PSP games. So Tekken 6 does run pretty well on the console. The only problem is in a few stages the floor is missing, so I'm not even going to try that right now. I haven't gone into the settings to check it out or anything, but I want to show you what settings I do have. This is completely stock out of the box when you download it from the Play Store. I haven't changed anything except for turning on FPS, and that's not going to affect performance at all. So if we go to rendering resolution, it is set for two times the PSP resolution. If you're lagging in a game, you can go to one. If the game runs very well, you can probably jack it up a bit more. First game we're going to test here is Monster Hunter. And I do have a save. We're going to load it. I was never really big into this game. And you can see this game should be at 30 FPS up in the top left hand corner. And it is running at 30 FPS. Very nice emulation on this game. Oh my gosh, am I going the wrong way? There we go. I couldn't see anything. Got these crazy dinosaurs coming out. They should have put these games out for PS4 and Xbox One. If they are as good as everybody says they are, and I really like fighting crazy creatures anyway, just straight up slashing their heads off. Even with a few characters on screen, we're still at 30 FPS. The NVIDIA Shield handles this PSP emulator very, very well. Water looks amazing. Background. If you jack this up a little bit, you still might be able to play it at 30 FPS, and it's going to look a ton better. Crazy elk. Buffalo creatures looking things. But even with one, two, three, four, five, six, including myself, sprites on screen or characters on screen, we're still at 30 FPS. Really, really nice performance here. I kind of feel bad because these guys were just grazing, man, and I just came up and killing them. Oh, I don't feel so bad now, buddy. Oh, yeah, and if you turn on fast forward, it's pretty cool. If you get to a spot where you don't want to sit at a cutscene or something, turn on fast forward. It'll double the speed of the game and you can get through it real quick. I should have blocked him. So we'll go back. Exit the menu. Next up, everybody wants to know if Kingdom Hearts runs. And, of course, it runs very, very well. I mean, look, look how beautiful this looks. Even stretched out a bit. So I did a video previously on uh, a little Android box that I had, and it lagged really bad in this area here. And we have full speed, 30 FPS, no trouble at all. I'm actually going to go back out right now and see if we can up the resolution by one more. And it really does make a difference. So we're at two, we're going to go to three. I'm 
mean, that it looks beautiful. It looks like the PS3 version. Kingdom Hearts Remix. And yeah, 30 FPS. So if you want to sit on your couch and play PSP games or N64 games or PlayStation games at full speed, I really recommend the NVIDIA Shield TV console. $199, it is a bit pricey, but it's worth it. It really is worth it. Several Bluetooth controllers can be connected to this unit. I have even been able to connect my Xbox One S Bluetooth controller to it. Wired controllers also work. Um, I don't have anything really set up to play. Let's try Midnight Club. Now, this is a hard game to emulate. So we're going to be lagging here. We're going to go back out. Settings. We're going to turn that rendering resolution back down to two times. See if that helps out at all. In the little R32. No. It's not going to help out. This game is just really hard to emulate. We're only at 30 FPS. Try one more thing. We're going to go back. Turn this all the way down. And even then we're having trouble. So that one's not going to work. Tekken Dark Resurrection works flawlessly. Little Big Planet can be played at 4x resolution. Burnout performs amazing. If you guys want to see any more games running on this unit, let me know in the comments below. I am going to try God of War. Right now, my hard drive is still transferring my data that I corrupted. So I'm limited on games for the next day. Supposedly, it was supposed to take 7 hours to transfer to my other hard drive. But now it's saying 17 hours, so it's probably going to be Sunday morning before everything is done. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.